Saturday's game was played in continuous rain, mm -hmm. heavy wind. Can you describe what it was like trying to catch passes in those conditions? Uh, it was a little difficult, but I don't want to make any excuses. We should have caught all those balls that we dropped. Uh, in pregame, we seemed just fine catching the ball, so it's, it's really no excuse. So you didn't see anything during warm-ups that might lead you to believe we're going to have a rough night catching the ball tonight? Oh, well, we knew what the conditions were and what the coach told us was that we were going to have to be more focused on the ball and just try to make the catch before you do anything else. So uh, we didn't have attention to detail, I think, throughout the game as far as catching the ball. Did you make any in-game adjustments like switching gloves or Try, doing something to try to keep your hands a little yeah, drier. We, we Is there anything you can warmers. do? I mean, shoes was wet, so we had different shoes. But I mean, that's it's all football. We can't control it. When you look at the offense, what do you guys need to improve on? Um, uh, just really uh, playing with confidence. I think. I think uh, we we know what we're supposed to do. We know how to do it. I think it's just going out and doing it on a consistent basis. When you look at. Um, the, you've had a couple of games this year where obviously TCU game was a little different because of all the rain, mm -hmm. uh, but you've had a couple of stretches earlier this year where there have been some drop balls here and there. What's the difference between this year and last year? Last year it didn't seem like there were that many. I just, I, I really can't explain the drops. I mean, it's just, like I said, attention to detail, trying to focus on the ball more. Uh, we just got to get better every week. If, I mean, you see receivers out here catching balls, not getting extra balls. So that's what it's going to take for us to catch it in the game, and that's what we have to do. Is part of it simply the comfort level of getting used to your new quarterback? Uh, yeah, I, I think that plays a little part in it. Uh, his balls are a little different. He has a lot more velocity. He, he can really throw the ball, so yeah, it's a little different, but we got to catch him out. Um, talk a little about UTEP. What's it like playing in that environment at altitude, big crowd? Uh, it's generally a fairly tough place for visiting teams. What's it like going into the Sun Bowl? Uh, it's first conference game, so uh, we want to, uh, as a team, we said this is the start of a new season. Uh, put those games before behind us, uh, and UTEP is a pretty good team. Uh, they're coming off a few losses, but you can tell on film that they're a very confident team. They play with confidence, and uh, they're a really good team, so we got to come out and match their intensity, and we should be all right. Where's the, the confidence level of the team right now? I mean, you're one and three, but the three teams you lost to were good teams. Mm -hmm. You know, TCU was ranked. The other two uh, very prolific offenses. Mm -hmm. What's it like on the practice field or in the meeting rooms or locker room in terms of your optimism going into the next part of your season? Uh, I, I think we have pretty good confidence as a team. Uh, we just have to, like I said earlier, just go out there and execute what we know we can do. Uh, be the team we know we can be, and uh, I think that will help us a lot. After the first few games, Coach Jones and Garrett Gilbert have both said, you know, it seems like this offense is really close to clicking. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that as well? Is it, is it close? It's definitely close. Uh, I thought I thought last week was uh, the best game my quarterback has had so far as far as concerning the, well, considering the conditions and everything. Uh, he was really accurate. Uh, it was – Really, really, the receivers. I put it on us. We we didn't catch the ball like we should have. And uh, but next week, I, I think it'll be clicking like it should be. You always hear the defense talk about one play and clear, one snap and clear. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a sort of a hangover when you have a game where there's some drop balls, or Thanks, Billy. are you able to you as an offensive group able to erase those drops and move on without letting that carry over? Well, uh, we're definitely going to be, it's in the back of our heads because obviously we don't want to do it again. So uh, we uh, came out this week, you know, trying to switch things up in practice, doing uh, doing the extra stuff, attention to detail as far as scout goes, uh, making sure we catch the ball and finish. So uh, I think I think we we'll would be all right this week. What is some of that extra stuff that you do? Uh, just really uh, – extra work out here, getting extra balls. You've seen Coach Phillips out here with us doing a little uh, drills because we, we expect to get a, a lot of man coverage this week. So our receivers are really pumped up about that. We all like man coverage.